What is going on guys? This is the studio that I told you I promised that I would bring you a tour of. So I wanted to start off with how we got to this point in business. So I started with real estate photography and it's all it was, is just photography. And then I started working to video and that led to virtual tours and then floor plans, kind of the full service real estate media company that it is today. But we also started to get into a lot of marketing videos. So I'd be going to agents' homes, I'd be going to listings, I'd be going to their office. There's just a lot of scenarios where I'm going to them, we're making great marketing videos, but it's like we kept running out of areas to shoot or maybe it'd be super busy in their office or you know, whatever, there's a lot of different reasons that it would not work out sometimes. And I thought, why don't I just build up to the point where I can own my own studio and bring people in here? So this is still a part of the real estate media company, but it's kind of raising the bar to the next level. We're setting like a new standard. So I want people to be able to come in here, shoot videos, get headshots, do a podcast, whatever they want to do. And today I'm going to show you guys everything that we do in the studio and maybe it'll inspire you to do the same thing. All right guys, so this is the main entrance to the studio. Uh, we just have like a nice reception area, plant wall, a little space that I can sit down with a client, you know, go over um, any contracts or kind of projects that they have going on. Um, but I wanna show you guys this whole main area. So this is our office that we work out of. This is the main video studio. I'm gonna show you guys that in just a moment. But again, this is like our main lobby. And so I wanted a conference table that was fun, inviting, and uh, just like a good overall aesthetic and feel. And I kept coming across this one as a like a conference room ping pong table. So we've been playing ping pong, clients come in and play ping pong. It's pretty fun, but it's also just a good statement piece. And it, it holds like a good eight people, 10 people maybe. And we are hosting workshops in here. So we're doing like video workshops, how to shoot your own videos, how to repurpose videos. We're talking about podcasts. There's just a lot of different options for it. So we're working on building out more workshops and it's just a really good way to network with your clients. And then same kind of idea here, we wanted to use this space as like a little living room setup so uh, clients can come in, they can shoot here if they want. This is like a nice set where you have a couple different options. And again, it's a good space for people to come in, relax, talk about projects that they have going on. It's just a nice area to meet and talk to your clients. So then kind of last thing, we have the TV where I tried to get one of the bigger TVs that everybody in the room can see it. And so we are able to, you know, cast any kind of slideshows on there, cast videos on there, and really go over a lot of different uh, content all in one big, nice aesthetic workplace. So that is really the point in this room. I think the next room that we're gonna show you is the video space. I'm not gonna put too much focus on our office just because it's like everything else is what we focused on in here for the most part, this is where we work. Um, so the next spot is the video studio. Let's go ahead and go over there. All right guys, this is the video studio. I mean, all of them are video studios, but this is our main video studio. This is the longest room so we can use our 24 to 70 lens and get some really nice shots. And so what is so awesome about this room is we have the different backdrops that are great. We have all the lighting that anybody would need. So we have main key light. We can use this one as a hair light or just another key light. And then we have the different lights here that light up the backdrops and we can make them all kinds of colors. These things uh, change color so we can make it, you know, purple, blue, red, whatever we want. And then and what's really fun is we have the green screen. So we have a paper backdrop for a green screen. It has worked really well so far. So we pull that down, make sure it's lit really evenly and we will bring clients in here. We can like shoot in their office. So um, anybody that comes in and has a membership, we go to their office and we will do a green screen photo shoot. So basically it's like any setup that looks real nice there. If we want their main office, their lobby area, whatever it is, we can go in there, take photos and use those as backdrops on the green screen. So they don't have the noise problems. They don't have people walking in constantly. It's like a controlled environment with controlled lighting and it all just looks good every single time. So this room is really good for just a lot of different options where you can use stools, you can use chairs, you can do standing videos, and we're focusing on short form content. I think that's a really important thing to note where we want agents to be able to come in and knock out like 10 videos in an hour. So if we can help them script it, help them plan it, we have a teleprompter um, if they need it, and we will just run through a list of videos and now they're good for the next couple weeks. And we can do it all in one area, one controlled environment, makes it real easy for everybody. It's worked out really well so far. This 
is our second video studio. So this room is really cool where we tried to make it as versatile as possible. So we made this faux brick wall. Um, it, was a, it was a fun project. Basically we put up like these four by eight pieces of brick and then we put like this schmear over top of it um, and tried to just make something that's like a little bit trendy right now. You know, that white brick, it's a good background. And then we did the same kind of idea over here where we did a whole shiplap wall. So um, did, you know, the whole length of the wall, obviously there's a door here, but it's a great opportunity for somebody to sit in a chair. Um, they can do a standing piece here. Definitely good for vertical videos. Um, but then we also have lots of furniture options. So, you know, we have that chair there. We have a few different rugs that we use. So this is just one of them that was set up from last time. Um, we have this couch. We have the other couch that, you know, we can move stuff around, different uh, chairs, different plants. We basically tried to make it truly just as versatile as we could, you know, give people a lot of options. Um, and then we have more backdrops here as well. So it's just another roll down backdrop system. Um, we have a bunch of different colors that we use. And then the last key piece to in here is the curtains. So we did it to where you can use direct sunlight, you can do a sheer curtain, basically like a soft box, or you can do blackout curtains and do all controlled lighting. So um, this room's really fun. It's been really popular and it's just a really good option to, and it's so impressive, you know, when you're bringing a client into your place, if you're looking to do something similar to this, it's just, it's a good feeling when you know that you are, um, you know, you're a higher standard than your competitors. You, you're bringing people into your space. You're giving them tons of options that they wouldn't have otherwise. And it's really been a key thing for us as we're growing to the next level to be able to have a space that they feel like is theirs to come shoot in. So the next studio we're gonna go to is probably my favorite. It's the podcast studio. Um, it's the, it's such a great studio where we can do videos also, but the really the key thing is podcast. So we'll go ahead and go in there next. All right, guys, this is the podcast studio. This is such a cool room. I'm excited for you guys to see this. So this is what costs the most money in this place. Um, but it really just kind of makes a statement. So this is where we shoot a bunch of podcasts for different realtors in the area. Um, and it's where I've been shooting YouTube videos. So we made the slat wall, painted it black. Everything in here is meant for um, aesthetics and acoustics. So slat wall helps with your sound and then we built these sound panels as well. And then we have the uh, Shure MV7s. We have four of them, but we're typically set up for two people. So we just have the boom arms right here for two people. We have the TV that we typically always cast their logo onto the TV, um, whether it's like their brokerage or their team, whatever it is. And then we have three cameras set up so that we can do that angle of the specific person. We can do this angle and then we can do one wide angle. So these cameras are the Sony A6400s. Great cameras. I recommend them pretty often for people as a start a real estate photography camera, but they're also great for this. They have an unlimited record time. They shoot in 4K and it's just a great camera that doesn't cost an arm and leg. I think it was about $1,200 for each camera, including the lens, and for, the, for that camera, that's really a pretty good deal. And then all of our audio goes to this Rodecaster Pro. Incredible piece of equipment. Uh, you control all of the volume on each mic. Uh, you listen to it through the headphones, you know, monitor the podcast the whole time. You can add in little noises and all kinds of different other things. It's such a great piece of equipment. And then we just have the uh, computer here that we will upload all of our footage to and we uh, are able to cast the logos from that computer. So this is probably my favorite room. Um, I just really love it. It's like it's just, you know, being able to have your own podcast studio, the mic, be able to bring people into here. It's just a fun environment. And um, I think it's something that's getting to be a lot more popular. Podcasts are really awesome in that you can make a lot of content out of one podcast. So you come in, sit down for 20, 30 minutes. You have a YouTube video. You have a audio version for all of the podcast platforms. And then you can clip it and have like 10 different clips out of one podcast for TikTok, Reels, YouTube Shorts. It's really an amazing way to be able to create a lot of content all at once. And that's how we sell it to the realtors. You know, if they are trying to, they're busy just like all of us. So if they're trying to knock out as much content as possible in a short amount of time, this is really the best way to do it. But let's go ahead and go back out to the main lobby and I'll wrap up the video there. 
All right guys, so that is the studio. There's still, we have a little kitchenette, we have a coffee bar, bathroom, a couple storage rooms. There's a little bit more, but really that's the, that's the main area. We have the main lobby, our office, the three different studios that we shoot in. And I feel like this is kind of the next step for real estate media. You know, it started off with just photography, then video. Then as COVID hit, we have a lot more virtual tours going on and floor plans. And it's like, that's really the meat of a real estate media business. But I think that this is the next step. I think there's going to be more more and more podcasts going on. There's gonna be more and more short form videos of people that are um, trying to make a bunch of TikToks and everything else and they don't know how to do it. And you can be the person that helps set them up with all of their marketing material to go along with all of their listings. So I think that if you are in a position to do it, um, this is potentially a good next step for you or maybe it's a good goal to have for the future. But this space has really opened up a lot more opportunity for me and really kind of set a new bar in our community. There's nobody else in my area that is doing this. Nobody else has their own studio. Nobody else has a podcast set up. Nobody else has a space where clients can come in, talk about new projects, and really just you know reach a new level of a, a client relationship. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, of course, hit me up on Instagram and uh, I will help answer anything that you have going on. But that's going to be it. Thanks for checking out the studio and I will see you guys in the next episode.